Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up Atom ID for Python. So that's been said, let's get started. So Atom IDE is a very popular IDE used to develop different programming languages such as Java, C++, Python and PHP. So in this video, we are just going to focus on Python. So how we can set up Atom IDE for Python development. So for that first we have to download Python executable file. So to download Python executable file, just open your favorite browser. For now I'm using Google Chrome and search for Python and open the link from python.org. So don't worry about the link, link will be on the description box. So in this page you will find all the documentation about Python. So for now we are just going to download Python. So scroll up and here you will find download option. Just click this download option and here you will find download option for Windows. So if you use another operating system such as Linux, Unix or Mac OS, then just click this options and you will be able to download Python for your required operating system. So for now my operating system is Windows. So I'm going to download Windows version of Python. Just click this download Python 3.6.5. So here the file is downloading. So it is around 30 MB, so it will take some time. So after completing the download, I will show you how you can install Python on your Windows 10 machine. So the download has been completed. So let us install the file. To install your file, just open the executable file. So here we have installation wizard. For now, I'm just going to minimize my browser. And here we have the installation wizard. So before installing Python, don't forget to check this option. Add Python 3.6 to path. So when you check this option, it will add the path in your environment variable. Then click on install now option. Then click on yes. So as you can see here, Python is installing on my system. So here we have setup was successful. So we had installed Python successfully on our computer. So just close this window. And to open Python on your system, just click this window icon and here search for Python. So let me go to P and here we have a folder called Python 3.6 and here we have four options. One is Python IDE and here we have Python shell and here we have Python 3.6 manual and this is Python module doc. So first let us open Python shell and this is the Python shell. So if you want to print hello world using Python language, just write print. Hello world so in python we don't need to write semicolon then hit enter so here in our python cell here we have hello world so now let me show you how you can run python using python ide for now i'm just going to close this window and again i'm going to search for python this time i want to open this python ide so this is the python ide so here let me print hello world so to print hello world just write print and between this parentheses, just write your string variable. So my string variable is hello world. Then hit enter. So here we have hello world on our console. So this way you can install Python on your Windows 10 machine. So now we want to configure Python with Atom ID. So in our system, we don't have Atom ID. So we have to download and install Atom ID on our system. For that, open your favorite browser. So I'm using Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, search for Atom. Open this link, atom.io. So don't worry about the link. Link will be on the description box. So Atom IDE is a text editor built by GitHub. So if you don't know about GitHub, GitHub is an online repository where you can store your source code and you can share your source code with others. And in this website, you will find all the documentation regarding Atom IDE. For now, we are not going through the documentary. We are just going to download Atom ID. For that, here you will find download option. So if you are using other operating system, it will automatically detect your operating system and you can download the Atom file. So for now, I have Windows 10 64 bit. So I'll just click on this download option. So it is downloading and it is around 140 MB. So it will take some time after completing the download I will show you how you can install the software. So the download has been completed. So to install Atom, just click on the file. 
so here atom is installing so let me minimize my browser so you don't need to click anything when you open your file it will automatically going to install your file and it will automatically launch your atom id when the installation is being completed so here the atom id is installing so here we have atom id so first time when you open atom id it will ask you to register a default atom url handler just click on yes so let me maximize the window so this is our welcome page and here we have our welcome guide so with atom id we can open our existing project or we can connect with our git and github for vision control and you can also install some packages and plugins to add some more functionality on your atom id and you can also customize look and theme of your atom id by just clicking on this choose a theme option and by clicking on this customize the styling you can customize your atom theme so for now i'm going to be showing you how you can install packages on atom id so to install packages on atom id you can click on this install package option so here you will find open installer so by just clicking this open installer it will open you the installer page from where you can install packages on your atom id so here are the different packages you can install on your atom id there is another way of installing packages say for example when you open atom id you don't have any tabs so i will just close all this tab and i will show you how you can install packages for that just press ctrl shift p so it will open this search window and search for installer package so here let me write installer open this install packages and themes so from here we can install packages on our atom id so here are the featured packages which you can install on your atom id for now i'm not going to install these packages i'm going to search for a package say for example i want syntax highlighter then i will search for syntax highlighter so here let me search for syntax highlighter then hit enter so here you can see that syntax highlighter is searching so here we find different highlighters say for example i want to install this package atom syntax highlighter so if you want to know more about package then just click on the package and here you will find some documentation about that package and if you want to install the package then you can click on this install option for now i'm not going to install the packages so let me show you some more features so from here you can update your atom id and from here you can install themes on your atom id so if you want to know which packages and which themes are installed on your atom id just click on this packages and here you will find all the packages and themes which are installed in your atom id so these are the packages and these are the themes installed in your atom id so we want to configure python programming language with our atom id so for that first we have to install python language support on our atom id so i had already told you that to add more functionality on atom id we have to install packages so here let me search for python language package so here let me write python language and search for the package so here you will find python language support in atom so here you can see that python language support in atom ide is already installed in our atom software so if in your atom ide you don't have python language support then you can install this plugin so if you want to know more about this plugin just click on this plugin then you will find all the information about the plugin so this is only the python language support in atom so we also have to install a package to execute the python file for that we have to install one more package so let me install another package for that just click on this install option and here search for the package so the package name is script so here you will find script package so this script package is used to run code in atom id so here you can see that over 1 million downloads so this is the very popular package used to execute programming languages so if you want to know more about this package just click on this package and here you will find all the information regarding this package so first let us install the package so to install your package just click on this install option so it is going to install script on your atom id
So while it is installing, let us see the documentation. So down here you will find keyboard shortcut. So let us look for the keyboard shortcut. So here we have keyboard shortcut. So to run any programming language, you have to press Ctrl I in Mac and in Linux and Windows, you have to press Shift Ctrl B. So I am using Windows operating system. So I will use this key combination to run my Python program on Atom ID. So let us see whether the package is installed or not. So finally the package has been installed on our IDE. So now let us create one Python file. For that just go to file then click on new file. And here let me write one simple Python program. So here let me write print and here I am just going to write hello world. So this is a simple program which will print hello world on our console. So to run the file first we have to save the file. So to save your file just click on file then click save. So I will save it on my desktop and here let me give name. Say for example test.py. So this .py is python extension. So whenever you want to save any programming language you have to write the file extension of that programming language. So right now I am working with python that's why here I had used python extension. So to save your file just click on save. So now we want to run our python program. So I had already told you that if you are using windows or linux operating system to run your program you have to press shift ctrl B. So if you are using Mac OS then you have to use Ctrl I. So let me use this keyboard combination to run my Python file. So let me go to the file and here let me press Shift Ctrl B. So in the bottom you can see that hello world is printed. So this way you can configure or set up Atom ID for Python development. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So bye for now. See you in next video.